Freed of London is proud to provide some of the world's most prestigious ballet institutions with beautiful, bespoke, handcrafted point shoes. Freed's point shoes are made and developed to meet the varied demands of today's aspiring dancers. The range of shoes Freed makes has evolved over years to make sure there's something for everyone. Freed is a British manufacturer employing 30 highly skilled point shoe makers and apprentices, making point shoes for amateur and professional dancers all over the world. Together, makers craft a total of 700 pairs of point shoes each day. That totals about 48,000 pairs of standard point shoes and 112,000 pairs of bespoke shoes annually. To meet the demanding expectations of today's dancers, Freed's experts source the finest materials. The entire making process takes place under one roof. Everything in our shoes is completely biodegradable. There's nothing plastic or man-made. So they're breathable, so when the dancer heats up and sweats, the shoe does too. And that's what makes it mobile and also makes our shoes silent. Freed of London has a rich history dating back to 1929. Founded by Frederick Freed, his understanding revolutionised the point shoe and ensured that each one matched the very specific needs of the dancer. He first advertised that he would make point shoes to fit the dancer's foot, not the other way around. Prior to him, the shoes were one width, so the poor dancer had to squeeze her feet in and just make the best of it. By streamlining production, Frederick Fried used the specific skills of his team, especially in the shaping and construction of the all-important block. Mrs. Fried, formerly a milliner, played a crucial role in changing the way each point shoe was cut and bound. Her approach allowed much more accurate measurement and greater precision in cutting, so as to achieve the dancer's perfect fit. This unique system is still in practice today. As Freed has evolved, so has its point shoes. Today, dancers are obviously far more athletic, so we have to make sure that the shoes we give these girls are going to work for every type of choreography that they're going to do. The meticulous attention to detail, combined with Freed's exacting standards of production, means that most dancers request the same maker to craft their point shoes. Obviously, a vast amount of our production is bespoke special orders, and we will stay with that dancer right from when they're a student. So we can refer back to what they had, we can refer back to a shoe they had when they might have had an injury or maybe returned from maternity leave, and look and see if that would work again in the future. The most important thing is that anybody, professional or student, enjoys their dancing. So you want to make sure that the shoe and the footwork is one. Our shoes are very individual. No one else makes them exactly like us. We very much see it as the tool, the only real tool that the ballerina or the dancer has. We aim to articulate the foot, to enhance the artist. We want to see all of the body, the leg, followed by the foot. And it should just blend as one. Our primary concern with a young beginner is to ensure that she is supported and enabled as she discovers what it means to dance on point. It is essential to work with her dance teacher to help find the perfect shoe. The shoe must be lightweight and comfortable enough for her not to be distracted by the feeling of the shoe. It must still offer support and security so the student is confident enough to work in them.
A young student will typically use her shoes for a short time at the end of body class. This is the perfect scenario as the body and muscles are warmed up and the point work exercises will be easier to work through. This is a totally new experience for the student who has only worn soft ballet shoes before. So it is for the shoe fitter to determine what is the best shoe. We must also consider the child's growth weight and measure it against how much the shoe will be worn. The fit should be generous, but not too big. By an older beginner, we are referring to a girl who is well into her teenage years, or even an adult. As with the young beginner, we are looking to make this a positive and memorable experience. The shoe must support and enable the development of technique. However, it does not have to be as lightweight or flexible. It is quite possible that some adults who wish to start point work may not have been dancing for many years. As long as their teacher feels that they have mastered the basics of technique and have enough comprehension and control to start point work, then there is no reason to stop them. This student being older will have stronger, more developed muscles and be able to achieve the basic technique of point work quicker than the younger beginner. This is a student who is now confident of her technique, which she is constantly striving to improve. It is essential that the point shoe enables this development. The movements and positions are more complex and the shoe must respond to these extra demands and stresses. This student will typically be using their point shoes two or three times each week and often have two pairs of shoes in wear.
The feet of most mid-level students have either finished growing or slowed right down. Therefore, they usually wear the shoes out before they outgrow them. This is the stage when the shoe will start to be stronger in the block and insole, so lasting the student longer and offering more support. The fit will be a little snugger. This student is likely to be examined or assessed, so we must now consider the look of the foot and make sure that it is well presented. This is the dancer for whom the point shoe must be a seamless part of her body. The dancer's technique and strength will be fully developed and their point shoe will be the tool through which she expresses her artistry. With this dancer, the conversation is very much between the dancer and the fitter. Her preferences and opinions must be taken into account when deciding on the perfect shoe. Now for the first time, we are equally concerned with the fit and appearance of the shoe. A point shoe is designed to enable the dancer to dance on point. This is the culmination of years of training that essentially starts preschool and never finishes. The perfect point is achieved when the two arches of the feet work actively together. The first being the instep or arch. This is the top line of the foot, which makes a continuous curve the entire way down to the toes. This is the pretty part that all the dancers like to show off. We must also look at the metatarsal. This is the spread at the back of the toe joints. This is the area of the foot that does all the work, the most vital part of the body for the ballet dancer. It is essential that this part at the top of the toes is cupped inside the shoe, but still allowed enough space to form a good curve or arch. When fitting a point shoe, it is essential to look at the entire dancer. To not do so does the dancer a great disservice. We must look at the entire body, the physique, the weight distribution, the whole dynamic and shape of this particular individual. We must put the shoes on both feet. Nobody has the same size feet, so we must check both. You should also secure the drawstring, tying it up so that the shoe sits snugly across the top of the foot. You should then ask the dancer to stand in first position where they do a demi-plie 
so you can see the foot at its largest. We are aiming to see the shoe completely filled. There should be no slack along the side of the shoe, but at the same time, no obvious tension around the top line of the foot. We should then ask the dancer to stand in parallel, placing one foot onto point, where we are checking to see that the front of the foot is securely encased inside the block, and you're not seeing any obvious lumps or bumps around the side. But the foot should be totally filling the front part of the shoe. Then ask the dancer to turn around, so you can see the heel of the shoe to check the fit for the width. Placing one foot on point, turn the satin down, and you should see a single line without any twist up the back of the foot. If the length is good, the sole finishes just under the curve of the pad of the heel. If it stands up, the shoe is too long. If it is drastically below the foot, the shoe is too small. Again, you should always check both feet. Finally, if Natasha goes up onto point, we can see the perfect fit.